hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Messi ugu aka realtor maybe here in the city of enugu i'm a realtor here in enugu i bring the best in the city i bring you new estates i bring you old estates i bring you happening places i bring you the best here in enugu so all i need you to do right now is to click on the subscribe button if you're new on this page and if you are an old friend please like this video and subscribe to it and be sure that you're always at the right place okay guys so today hmm, i'm going to be driving to um co city estate if you know co city estate very well it's situated just um behind central bank of nigeria and um is directly um at the location where ikenga hotel used to be back in the days is a very old estate here in Enugu and it has developed so much so I'm going to be driving around the estate to show you guys what this estate is in 2023 or how this estate is in 2023 the development the the companies that are in the estate you know how the residential buildings are and the road and every other thing in the estate so you guys can see what's going on in Enugu and then you guys can see that I am doing so much to keep this channel yes so please guys you need to subscribe to every video that i drop on this channel come with me on this ride let's go okay so we're starting this ride we are entering into coal city garden estate in Ugo. you know this estate has nothing to do with coal as most people think there was no settlement here in fact, the coal miners actually settled mostly at the Iva Valley region of Enugu State. Iva Valley. Iva Valley is just at the back of, um, behind New Market, Enugu. Just um, some drive from the coal camp. So it's a straight road to the coal camp. So that's the little history of Enugu. Enugu was named Coal City when coal was discovered here by the British colonial masters. And since then, we've always known Enugu to be Coal City. This is Afia TV. We just passed it. We'll still come back to it though. That's Afia TV. Is just um it's just a tv station here in enugu that gives update on um local news especially enugu and Oweri news you really enjoy them okay so i'll be i'll be um giving a brief history of enugu I know a lot of us know so much about the city, but there's a whole lot to know. Need to know in Enugu is that Enugu was um, actually derived from two words, meaning Enu and Ugu, which means on top of the hill or mountain. The name obviously is the reason why most of our topography is very hilly and just hills and valleys that's all you're going to see here in Enugu the city was named after Enugungo under um, Enugungo that's where coal was first discovered so Enugu is mostly just um, Nike group and um, and the Ngo group so that's why sometimes some people always ask me oh why is Nike so large I'm even in even MNA Umuchibo Nike is still called Nike you know sometimes I just try to explain to them that Nike is most part of Enugu especially from Ogui down is majorly just Nike. Then every other part that we call Enugu Town is majorly Enugungo. 
I stand to be corrected, but I think that is it. So, as I said earlier, the coal city, coal was discovered here in Enugu by the, the European masters, about Ernest in particular. You know, he led an exploration in 1903 to find, you know, mineral resources in the area. And then finally, he discovered Enugu in 1909. In um, what's it called again? In um, Ude Hills. So this led to the construction of the railway to transport the coals to Portacourt. In fact, Portacourt should know that they owe it to Enugu for their existence. If there was no Enugu coal, there wouldn't be any Portacourt city. And surprisingly, they don't even know this. Is because of the transport of coal that's why Portacos was created. That's why Portacos was created. In fact, at the time, Enugu was declared the capital of the EJM of the eastern region of Nigeria, that's the um, capital of Biafra before um, independence. Do you understand? So it was briefly the capital of a country that's the capital of the republic of biafra in 1967 but it was then moved to umahia for reasons i'm not sure but i think they said um enugu was captured by the um, nigerian armed forces so biafran people had to leave and establish their capital in umahia so then the old Anambra state was now divided into two to create Enugu and Anambra state. So Enugu state is different from Enugu. She gets so Enugu remained the capital of the new Enugu state created by the um that should be Ibrahim Babangida's uh, military regime. Okay, so that's a brief history of Enugu I just said. So I think we've come to the end of our tour. This is um, a vaccine research center by University of Nigeria. That's University of Nigeria on Suka. This is um, a vaccine research center. Okay, so we have to drive around this estate we have to find our way that's tilafia tv is like a meeting point where you can get um other streets from so i'm trying to comb all the streets in this estate you know as much as i can I'm trying to comb all the streets in this estate just as we drive by this is next same this is Nexim. Okay, sounds like a drug um a drug company, but I really need to confirm. I'm not really sure. All right, so this is it. I actually came to the fencing, to the estate fencing. Okay, it's not here. It's just at the back of these buildings. You're going to see the the main estate fence in there that's where you're going to see the main road that that runs all the way to um all the way to town that runs all the way to the other side that's to secretariat side okay that's the fence there that's the fence that's the you know the estate fence from outside as you can see Okay, guys, this actually should be like a back gate location, but, but it's not, I guess. It's actually good that the estate have um, one gate to one gate of access, okay? Because, you know, such way you can be able to manage the vehicles that come in, that go out. You know, you'll be able to count how many vehicles that are, that are going to these um, offices. 
that are not like you know for people living in the compound okay so this is enugu state's primary healthcare development agency primary healthcare development agency i think um primary healthcare means um like um healthcare to the grassroots like the health centers and the rest of them okay so i'm actually trying to comb the streets like i said so if you see me doing some cuts and join it's because i'm trying to you know get every area in in this estate but right now i'm on my way to the gate yeah where we came from okay guys so but i'll be driving towards the left that's towards the bar by the left hand side of the estate called them um, used to be coal city garden bar but right now the name has been changed and pardon me i don't remember the name i don't remember the name so let's just call it coal city garden bar or lounge anything oh uh, see the estate here so feel free to you know leave a comment down below tell me what you think about this estate about coal city as a whole about my story if i'm wrong tell me but that's actually what i read from the history <laughs> okay that's actually what i've known for a long time so, and i also stand to be corrected this is the history of enugu you know general history of enugu okay guys okay guys so we are back from the core city garden estate the wonderful estate here in enugu well as i'm waiting for my drink i have to tell you guys a few things about this estate okay right now there are no plots selling there there are no plots selling but there are houses selling in this estate also what you should know about this estate is that this estate is um it's been an old one here in enugu it's just directly behind um cbn the central bank of nigeria it's also very close to the secretariat and the ministry of land ministry of urban um uh, urban development and it's just five minutes drive from um polo park mall or Shoprite mall and it's so so close to new market so this is like the heart of enugu you get it this is like the heart of enugu so all i need you to do right now for me is to subscribe to my channel because i'll be bringing you very good contents from enugu very good contents here in enugu and if you stay tuned you're going to enjoy every bit of it like this video subscribe to this channel and share to your friends and your families especially those abroad abroad and in city okay guys so i would love to have you again on my next video see you next time and god bless you